everybody, it's Bill and I'm back. I'm back in Kerr Lake again on the Virginia side. This is pretty much where Russ and I came Saturday and uh, hooked up with Travis down there and uh, just kind of stayed near them and tried to mimic their patterns. Uh, and they kicked our butts. They pulled in fish after fish after fish all day long and we just got one eater at the end of the day. So anyway, I'm back and I am by myself today. It's a little too warm, a little too sunny uh, for us. Um, but I'm gonna see what I can get. Uh, Mom and I already ate the fillets off that one I kept from Saturday, so I need some more. So I'll probably keep one or two if I, if I catch a couple of eater size. And if not, oh well, at least I gave it a try, right? So stick around and let's see how we do. I gotta find a spot to start drifting. What in the heck's going on? Why am I turning in circles? Oh, I'm caught on the planer board. Gotta fix that mess, don't I? All right. All right, y'all. <laughs> I turned it off because I wasn't sure if it was even on, but it is. A nice little blue catfish. Ugh. Come on, get. <laughs> open up. I can get it out easier if you'll open up. There you go. Let me get everything untangled here. to get that straightened out wanna there you go there's a nice blue cat nice eater size cat we're gonna take that one home too because the last one I took home we done ate It's a small fish, I think. See that? I had one, but he come loose. Stinky poo. There's another eater. 
It was another eater size. I'm gonna put a uh, small piece on there. Okay, folks, it's time to head home. The uh, one blue cat, one eater blue cat was all I got, but me and mama's gonna have some more fillets for the next time we want some fish. Those blue cat fillets sure were good last night. So anyway, time to head for the house. I'm afraid that might be some weather <laughs> trying to sneak up on me. So I'm gonna get, oh, to get this good.